Good morning, you guys. Today is Tuesday. Sorry if you're pressing doing the mowing outside mowing outside but today's tuesday and i got up a little bit ago i woke up around 5 a.m and just was feeling like crap i started getting like a really sore throat last night like right as i started cooking dinner like it just was starting to hurt so i was dealing with that all night and then i woke up and it's just the same again today but i took medicine around 5 a.m because uh girl stuff and i just i don't feel very good today my throat hurts and i just feel like sleepy and i like the first thought in my head was oh my gosh i can't be sick for vlogmas like that literally was the first thing i thought of though i'm trying to like rest up and feel a little bit better i'm drinking some coffee out of my favorite christmas mug or at least one of my favorite mugs so yeah i don't know i just don't feel very good i don't know if it's allergies but it's like between the nose you know like between your nose and your throat like whenever you get a tickle and it's like how do i scratch it well that's kind of where it's just burning so i took a little bit of medicine last night which helped it but now the medicine's starting to wear off a little bit i am kind of going through my schedule trying to figure out like how i'm gonna get everything done and work on everything and a lot of people tweeted me saying that they vlog the last day of november and upload on december 1st but i don't think that's what i'm gonna do i really believe i'm gonna start uploading on december 2nd just because i don't know i feel like vlogmas you want to see like strictly december so i'm watching teen mom og and i swear i'm like i love when people just tell farah how it is like just tell her how it is so many people are afraid of this girl and it's like this girl needs help and like when you enable someone to be a crappy person like you're just as bad like that is probably one of my biggest like traits about me and i think some people probably will consider it a flaw if you mess up i'm gonna let you know and I'm not gonna hold back, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I'm not gonna play nice, like if you mess up, I'm gonna let you know. And there's really only a few people in my life that I bite my tongue, and it was because of certain um, circumstances. And, like, I, that's just me. And so like, if I were to ever see Farah, it would be, you blame everybody else, and you make everyone else feel like it's their problem, but you're the problem. Like, I just never will understand why people who have so much drama in their life and like so much like craziness in their life, why they think it's it, like what she says. She says she blames herself for allowing these people in her life. Like, no, like you're causing it. These people, there's not like just hundreds of people who are just dramatic like you are. You're just the drama. I don't know. I, I know that there's a lot of people I watch on YouTube who I feel the same way about, who like feel like, oh my gosh, my life is so dramatic. And it's like, why? Why do you think it's dramatic? Like, let's just figure out why. So anyway, she's biting my plant again. Can you stop biting that, please? I really would prefer you did not bite my plant. All right. Also, I know there's supposed to be candles on there. I was stupid and we put the candles, like, you know, the fake uh, flameless candles. Um, I put a ton of them in the attic and well, they melted, so. She's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, that reminds me. I When we lived in South Florida, I posted or uploaded a video called Christmas Kitty. I will have that link down below, but I had a video called Christmas Kitty and it's her like destroying my Christmas tree. And I remember I was on Facebook one day and it was like all about cats destroying Christmas trees and Bella was in it. And it was like a video that got like millions of views. And I just want to be like, hello, my video is the one who contributed to that. I deserve to get some of your views. I was thinking about filming today. In fact, I have it on my calendar to film today, but which I don't like saying. I like saying everything is yes, I'm gonna do it. But I don't know if I'll be able to really give a good video because of how I feel. Like I feel like I just feel gross and I don't know if I'd be able to deliver very good content. I may even take a shower just so I can feel a little bit better. So Teen Mom just ended. It was like the wrap up special or whatever with Dr. Drew. I think like the Dr. Drew specials are just so lame. That just wrapped and when that went off because it was on DVR, it went to like this channel that's like all kid shows and it's like a Sesame Street show and literally ugh, it almost made me sick to my stomach because of how weird this kid show is. Like it was just weird and it makes me nervous. Like, I want my kids to watch kids shows, no doubt, but like, I think I'm gonna be more of like a Disney kind of girl and like have them watch stuff where like, it teaches them something. Like this was teaching them that water was fun, which I guess if some kids have issues taking a bath, whatever, but it hurt me. It was painful to watch. So you know what? You may end up with a vlog on December 1st anyway. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna call it Vlogmas Day 1. Anyway, I'm having a vlog go up today, hopefully, and if not, I'll upload it tomorrow, and then I'll probably have a vlog for you guys December 1st. So, we 
are back in the office and I am dealing with this mane of hair. I finished editing my vlog for you guys, which is awesome. So tomorrow is the last day of November and then Vlogmas starts. Sorry, I keep hitting the table. But Vlogmas starts on December 1st and I am so excited for all of my other coffee obsessors. How long does coffee last? Like as long as it's in the same container, it's never been tampered with, it's already ground. Um, and it was it's like ground coffee that I bought the thing says like a Best Buy date Which would be until 2018 which I probably bought this maybe three or four months ago And I opened it and probably have used it maybe twice Let me know is that Best Buy date only if it was never opened or even if it's been opened This is pretty much how long it has to last. Oh, this happens all the stinking time this thing closes the door. I think it was like, that's my job. I always close the door. But this thing will close the door. So then guess what? Now it's going to be stuck in here forever. Let me know how you guys avoid that. I know there's little things I can set up. But like, now she's mad. She's like, I'm the one who always closes the door. She's so cute. You're so pretty. Are you a pretty girl? Are you a pretty girl? Look how pretty she is. I love her. Watch this. Athena. Do you want to go outside? Oh, that got ruined. Athena. Want to go outside? <laughs> you haven't been outside for a little bit. Usually they bug me by now, but they haven't bugged me. You guys haven't bugged me, that's why I forgot. Usually you bug me right after lunchtime. Let's see how well Daddy's mowing job was. Oh, looks very nice. Or are you losing a lot of our grass because they keep peeing on it? Pretty outside today. I've had like the doors and everything shut because I thought it was hot out, but I actually felt pretty nice out there. Came from under the couch. So I just got word that we are going to dinner with Preston's dad, which makes me really excited. But it's very random because we usually don't go out to dinner like midweek, like it's Tuesday. So I'm um, a little bit confused by that. But anyways, we're gonna go out to dinner with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower because I just feel gross. And I just, I don't know. There's something about like wanting to take a shower like before I go anywhere. I just uploaded my vlog, by the way. I have a new vlog up on my channel. Good morning, you guys. Today is November 30th. Tomorrow's the first day of vlogmas. I don't know why I'm so excited when I'm still vlogging every day anyway, so. Why am I so excited? I don't even know. I just got home from Publix, so I'm making some eggs. And then I bought these because they were 50% off. And I bought some chips because everybody likes a little bit of chips. And then I went to McDonald's because I had a free coffee. So I went ahead and got me a free vanilla iced coffee. And then, because I am so nice, I got my puppy some butcher bones. Right? You get a butcher bone? That's what's on her paw right there. And then I got Mr. Ronan one too. You a happy boy? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I could not get up this morning for the life of me. Like I did not want to wake up. I woke up at like 6.30 and I was like, yeah, I'm awake. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get everything done. And then all of a sudden I was like, I can't actually get out of this bed. <laughs> I'm too comfortable. And then today I have a conference call and then tomorrow morning I have a conference call. And I always feel so like bad when like one of my calls tomorrow is a training call. So I have to train someone. And so I always feel so bad when I sound like this. Like I don't like training people sounding like a dude and like constantly like, sniffling or choking or coughing or whatever the news was just on and it said oh happy last day of november and i don't know why that made me so giddy anyway time for some work i need to jot down some different um tasks that i have going on today and figure everything out i'm gonna get some work done i'm gonna edit the video i filmed the other day and possibly edit yesterday's vlog so i also decided the way i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna have yesterday's vlog and today's vlog for tomorrow which is december 1st and then all the footage i take from December 1st will be on December 2nd. And so then that's when we're gonna start Vlogmas. Tomorrow, which is today and yesterday, is not gonna be considered Vlogmas Day 1. It's just gonna be a vlog. But then Vlogmas Day 2, you'll see Vlogmas Day 1. So I'm so excited! So I have been working and watching Lifetime. There's like, I think it's called like Watch Your Back or something like that. Been watching it and trying to get a new battery because all my batteries are dead. Moved it to the office, could not like, Focus on work out there. I don't know what it was. I just was like so comfortable on the couch that so I'm like, mm, I can't focus right now. Coming in here, I think I'm gonna listen to some Christmas music and I really wanna light this candle. I need to go to Hobby Lobby because the inside is like empty. So I need to go to Hobby Lobby and get more wick and fill this up with some wax. I have some leftover wax from other candles and fill this bad boy up because I want to burn a candle in here because he's so cute. Also, let me know now that the day you're watching this is December 1st, let me know who your favorite Vlogmas YouTuber is. I would have to say that my top Vlogmas vloggers would be Chabella or her vlog channel is La Vita D Meg or something like that. 
and then Alicia Marie, XO Alexa Ray. I feel like that's mainly it. Maybe once Vlogmas starts, I can think of the others. I know I used to watch uh, Nikki Philippi's a lot. I used to watch Ingrid's a lot, but that was like a few years back. Those are the people I know who do Vlogmas that I will be watching. If anybody else pops up, I'll let you guys know, but I wanna know who y'all's favorite is. Because Vlogmas videos are by far my favorite to watch. I feel like that's what like really brings you into like the Christmas spirit. Cause you see other people usually like shopping is involved or Christmas presents or Christmas decorations and stuff like that. And I feel like that just keeps the whole like Christmas spirit like alive. Oh my gosh, I mention this all the time because I'm always like watching her snaps or her vlogs, but like people get so butthurt over everything like my biggest problem with today's time is that so many people just get upset over everything like you can't say anything right without offending someone there is nothing more annoying to me and frustrating to me than people who are so weak-minded that people can't say anything without offending someone because i watch aaron williams all the time youtube like her vlogs her snapchat everything and like and she just was saying that she had went and took her daughter to the like emergency care like not the emergency care what like we have center care I don't know if everyone has that but it's like an emergency care it's like a smaller thing you don't actually go to the ER at the hospital it's like a center care whatever she was saying that all she saw was like the nurse she never saw like an actual doctor she just saw the nurse and granted nurses EMTs paramedics they know a lot but they're not a doctor and so she had spent I think she said like $180 and she was saying that she spent the money just to see a nurse and to be told that her daughter was fine she just was overreacting so she had simply just said like here I'm so upset I spent $180 because I was a new mom I overreacted I thought my daughter was sick and she's trying to say she's mad at herself for doing something like that but in one of the statements she said all I saw was a nurse and I have several nurse friends who she could have called and so I guess so many people blew up on her saying that how dare she put down nurses and saying nurses aren't good enough and she's mad she only saw a nurse and not a doctor and I'm just like this woman can't breathe like she breathes wrong she does everything in her life apparently wrong to people and it's like don't be so butthurt over everything. I feel in today's time so many more people have like relationship issues, have like communication issues, self respect issues, what am I thinking of? Confidence, self confidence issues like no other. Let me think of like the most elegant way of putting this. So many people are getting upset and offended over everything. Like all of these different like racial things, all of these different things in today's time like everyone's getting offended and it's like in today's time, everyone feels entitled and entitlement and that they're entitled to everything. And I feel like, you know, while we live in an amazing country, like we can literally do whatever we want. At the same time, it makes people feel like they're entitled. Like they don't have to work. They don't have to be a decent human being. They're just entitled to all of these great things. You could say that my favorite color is green and I will offend someone because it's not their favorite color. To get mad at her because she said she spent $180 to see a nurse to be t then told that her daughter was fine. I would be like annoyed too. I don't know. I'm just saying like so many people get offended in today's time. So many people are just like, oh, how dare you say something like that? So annoying. So annoying. So the Roomba just finished doing its job and I know this seems like it's kind of like a paid or sponsored thing when I constantly bring it up, but I swear it's not. But I am obsessed with this thing, you guys. Like I've talked about it for so long. Like I've wanted this thing ever since we had, you know, Athena. I have just wanted one of these because not that I'm like lazy. Like every time I tell Preston that I wanted a robotic vacuum, Vacuum. I always felt like such like an awful like wife and like homekeeper and everything But the reasoning for it is because literally having two dogs and a cat I would have to vacuum every single day if I wanted my floors to be spotless So just because you have a robotic vacuum does not make you lazy because you still have to do like actual vacuuming Like maybe once a week definitely worth it if you guys are interested in getting one I definitely recommend them like they're awesome I am wrapping with work right now and I'm gonna go ahead and relax for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit a video, finish editing the video and then I'm gonna go ahead and I keep saying the same phrase over and over. I'm gonna finish editing my video and then I'm gonna edit my vlog and then call it a night and just do whatever else. But like I said, I have to give my eyes like a break. They are starting to like mess with my head. So I got myself some Mountain Dew. And now I'm gonna take to the computer officially and edit my video, edit my vlog, get ahead of the game, get this stuff rolling for you guys, and it feels so good. So I was starting to work on my video and then my sister-in-law texted me and she told me that I guess Preston, like when we, when I walked the aisle, I could tell he was choked up. Like he started tearing up a little bit and like, you know, like when you can't hold it, 
that had happened, which was such an awesome, it was so cool, I don't know. And so he, she had said that he, I guess, like just hitting the aisle already started to get kind of choked up, which is just such a crazy, I don't know, it's such a special feeling and I'm so excited. And so I was watching some of the photos, like you know if they're live photos, you see like, I don't know, what is it, like two, three seconds worth of like video. I'm watching it and I started getting choked up just watching the way he looked at me that day and just how special that day was. I cannot get over like how perfect our wedding day was. Like looking back, it's like everything was perfect. Everything, like my hair and makeup, I kind of wish I went another route, but other than that, like it was so perfect. So I have a new man crush, and Preston is totally accepting of it, but Patrick Dempsey. I loved him in Maid of Honor. Like, was madly in love with him. But there's like other movies I've seen him in that I'm just like, yeah, he's just whatever. But ever since Grey's Anatomy, like, he is my man crush. Him, Jimmy Fallon, and uh, Tom Hardy. Like, my man crushes. So, I'm watching Enchanted, and Enchanted started, and I was like, you know what, I've seen this movie one time. And I remember the lead being super attractive, but I couldn't think who the lead was. I was like, I think it's Patrick Dempsey. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. And so I, it just now started and it's still like during the cartoon part. And so I looked it up and sure enough, it's Patrick Dempsey. So I'm gonna pause it on live TV because I'm so grateful that I'm able to do so. I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna go take a shower, the dogs are outside, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna come back and I'm going to swoon over Patrick Dempsey for the rest of the night. Also, finished editing my video, so that's awesome. What's crazy is tomorrow's going to be six years, it will be our six year anniversary, plus it is one year since he proposed. So tomorrow's just gonna bring so many different just like memories and amazing feelings back. So yeah, that's like something I'm super excited about. Anyway. I'm gonna get going so I can watch my other handsome man on TV. Mm -hmm.